Hey guys, it's painting time, and we're going to be painting some Valor Corpse from Maker's Cult. First we're going to start with the walkers. I'm going to paint their armor using contrast paint Space Fools Grey. When working with contrast paints, make sure you finish an area first, then move on to the next area. Otherwise you'll get tide marks, especially on large armor panels. My main focus is to have separation between the details, so I'm going to focus on putting the paint into the recesses. Don't worry too much about the flat panels, if they are uneven, because later I'll be doing two washes for weathering, and that should blend or hide any mistakes or unevenness. Now for the metallics. I'm going to be painting all the iron areas with Vallejo Metal Color Gun Metal Grey. I'm going to paint all the armor, helmets, weapons and shields in this metallic color. It's okay to be messy in areas that have not been painted yet, like the pants and face mask. But be careful near the great coat that has already been painted. But if you do get some overspill, don't worry too much. Because of the wash stages, it should blend both the gun grey and space wheels grey together. And in a big unit, you won't be able to see any of the mistakes. For the rest of the details like pants, wraps, boots, belts, gloves, pouches and let's not forget the iconic face mask, I'll be using Vallejo Plague Brown. This will require two thin coats to get a full coverage. For the black details on the walkers such as the bolter and cables, I'll be using Joe Sanger's Carbon Black. 
I love this black because it more or less goes on in one coat, depending on how much you have thinned it. For the first of many washes, I'll be using contrast paint snake bite leather, no thinning, on the masks, gloves, belts, pouches and pants to bring out the details. I like using contrast paint over different color base coats for my army painting, because if you really wanted or didn't have the time, you could leave it as it is and the raised areas will already be close to the highlight color you want. And for the boots and wraps, I'll be using contrast paints, Gorgon to fur. Now for the main wash, I'll be using Agrax Earthshade for an all over wash on everything. This includes the Abhumans and Infantry. When washing this way, make sure you keep an eye on your miniatures. When you see the wash starting to pull, use a dry brush to wick away the excess paint. Now for the metallic highlights, I'll be dry brushing with Vallejo Natural Steel. Don't worry if you get some metallic flex or overspill of dry brush on other areas, because we still have one more wash step to go at the very end. That will mat and blend any of the overspill. For the walkers, I'll be using a bigger bristle brush. And for the ab humans and infantry, I'll switch to my smaller brush just to minimize as much overspill as I can.
To highlight all the other details, I'm going to go back to my original base color of Plague Brown and paint the raised areas, doing my best not to paint into the recesses. The only two areas I won't be highlighting are the wraps and boots. I really like how the Golgantra fur has made these areas look. And finally to highlight the armor and great coats. I'll do an edge highlight of P3 Sickly Skin. For these miniatures I will be doing an edge highlight. Remember when edge highlighting, angle your brush and the miniature so that you can get a straight clean line. For the walkers I'm just edging all the top areas or places I feel more visual interest is required. And for the ab humans and infantry, I'll edge the raised folds of the greatcoats. If you're on a time crunch, then you can skip this step for the infantry units and use highlights on special units that you want to stand out.
For my final wash, I'm going to mix Joe Sanja's Carbon Black, Burnt Umber, Magic Mix and Water together. Make sure you mix them thoroughly. And when you're ready, generously apply it all over the miniatures. And this will tie everything together. And at the very end, I'm going to paint all the base rims black. Because in my opinion, I think it frames the miniatures much better. I'm truly amazed at how these guys have turned out. And it is inspiring me to do a bigger force. So, in saying that, I went and printed and based this huge force. I love the aesthetics of the Valor Corps, A very grim dark look. The results are super satisfying and I'm absolutely pleased with how they look as one huge cohesive group. I'm actually blown away by the results and I've got tons of inspiration to continue this force. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and share and I will keep bringing you these videos for your inspiration.